Um, the second part is, do we need insulin in all our glute or glucose transporters? Well, GLUT4 is the one that everyone talks about. That's the one that gets uh, glucose into your muscles. But there are 14 glucose transporters, 14, of which only one is entirely insulin dependent. All the rest are pretty much insulin independent. Uh, he mentions like GLUT1 and GLUT3. They just offer, uh, operate through what's called passive diffusion. So if you imagined a five litre tank of water and you had uh, an ink pipette you could drop in and each one was a gram and you dropped in five well that ink in the water once you start to mix it so that would that would uh, be like your blood pumping around that would diffuse across all that five so the color of that water would change and that would be the concentration and that is happening in the carnival body basically and uh, it happens with everybody actually all of these ones that aren't insulin uh, dependent or insulin independent will use diffusion so if you have less insulin insulin one of the things about insulin is it speeds up the entrance into the cells so we've got this slightly slower um, entrance into the cells which is one of the reasons why maybe some people will have slightly higher blood glucose because it's because it's in the blood but there's no big panic because there's no big spike so there's no big need for a lot of insulin